Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Humankind Let's Play as we continue with the Kumar in the medieval era. Um, we advanced last episode and it seems like we generous, have an offer. I thought it was going to be the peace deal, but we did lose the last battle because hmm. you had to retake the capital. It's not just they can't stand on it. It's once they stand on it, you have to end up retaking it. We would love to be peaceful with most factions. I am all for peaceful development. They did the surprise war on us. We even had a non-aggression with them beforehand. So I'm happy with the pink faction. They still have some armies over here. Our armies got shattered. Um, it was not an easy fight for us. We'll have to move more units in. As for over here, we're trying to push out a farming run onto this tile here so we can claim a barre right here. Maybe here. This is the spot I think I wanted. So I need another farm here. Yeah, that's the solution. We can only put them down one at a time, so it's going to take a while. Um, we also need to kind of think about faith. We did claim... Wow. Very diverse. Because of trade, I'm assuming? No. They're just very good at spreading it. As a matter of fact, I should be buying some of their stuff because there's some really nice stuff. We are buying one die. There is a trade because that's bringing us the most benefit. We didn't buy any of the science and gold related one, but this one, silk. Percentage food. They are a scary faction, to be honest. Their second place, that makes sense. I don't know where they are in the world. We have many little fragments of colors. Ah, they're right here. Okay. It's going to come down to us versus them at the end. But uh, I'm actually quite unhappy that their faith is playing such a big role in our land. We should think about these. Mm, our desire for optimum placement is delaying a lot of our things. I think we can just go back to our cluster over here. It's not going to cause any issues if we continue to cluster. Bung Hao. Bung Hao's not that big. Chang'an's the one that I think that needs it. Nanjing too. Maybe in this... Yeah, there's nothing that's going to be here. They're not going to build it, though. I put it down. Now I can just have someone else work on it. Hmm. Might be them. Okay, I saw some resources. Plus five food. Plus nine food. Build their star for artisan. They scale super easily. Science, right? This one's, yeah, they're all science. Silver, mercury, both science. One's percentage science, one's raw science for research quarters. We actually have plenty of research quarters because we have our emblematic from before but we'll take all the resources we have so we can at least trade them and i'll probably put down a few harbors before we attach all right that's fine we're happy with our state ghanians someone bought our salt I don't think they can reinforce. I can buy this group to fight them off. It's pretty cheap. We need to cut them off here. This is a defending army. So that's the core army that they have. They're friendly to us. Very friendly to us. Oh, we need to make sure it grows into the final tier. 
Oh, we can't move anymore because all the attachment we did. That's fine. We claiming this region here. Let's see, how do we want to claim it? There's plenty of river here that we can preserve by putting... That's a special tile. That's a special tile. Probably here. Because we can combine these in the future. He bumps into another... Ooh. Can't change them now. There's another army down here. Greetings, yeah, she, sovereign. She got a little war support back. Me? A little awkward. We need to crush both of these armies and that will win us the war. There's an army leaking over here. So we're going to send these guys down, actually. They ran. But you can't run far. They ran to the reinforcement of that group. Let's cut them off here and then fight this group. So force the reinforcement to bump into reinforcement. They can't run anymore. Wait. They're forcing that battle to happen? We are getting attacked. What nonsense. So they're attacking with that army, with this army's reinforcement. Well, the deployment's absolutely a mess. But this army is one that we're okay with taking injuries. So we're getting hit first. Yeah, it's fine. This is the army we bought. It's their job to die for us. He did not step on our reinforcement zone, which is good, or else we can't reinforce. Come on, attack me. You can't take out this unit in one go. So he's trying to loop around. Oh, don't step on it. Oh, you got high ground. That's fine. That's good, because we need this spot open. Neither unit died. Good for us. I don't know why he declined attack here. Okay. I'm going to walk him up. That's probably our strongest unit in that group. Oh no, the next unit is the strongest unit. So you're gonna go here. For your families. I don't mind them dying. For your families. The only thing that, you know, they benefit from is the fact they get a military star. Guaranteed kill right here. Come over here. Pull him up. Pull over him closer. Charge. Doesn't look like we're gonna die. Go. He has a defense. That's a oh, he got us. He got the high roll on that. Very lucky unit. Very annoying. No fear. So we're being very reckless with our mercenaries. They got the good roll. Did we get? Oh no! Oh my god! The rolls on the AI. Very lucky. He's going for the archer. That's fine. For them all, we won. Uh, the trade on the return damage did it. That puts them at 8 points, right? 14. To what do oh, I it's going to dip pleasure? from 14 to 4. Okay, and then it's passively to a turn. And then there's army here. We're working towards claiming this region. I know it's recommending this forest, you know, giving us so much yield, but I think preserving the river yield here might be more important. Actually, this is pretty tempting, but the artisan's kind of weird. Like this, we can preserve with a rye. Honestly, this seems like a better slot. Okay. Right here. All 
All right, let's end. The war should be resolved soon. Oh, that's cute. So pay and see what happens. May this betrayal haunt you. You're so and far ruin away. Your sleep. Cut off our trade. We'll ignore the demand for now. Another battle. I don't know if he has more units. That's why I can't really risk that attack. Oh, uh, if we play the terrain right, I think we can win this. Oh, the deployment is terrible. Why can't I deploy? Mm. Alright, so the only solution is a sturdy defense around the archer. They get the high ground over here too. Which sucks, but uh, poor unit. Look at that, getting absolutely murdered. But if I pull him back, then I can defend here, which would be good. We lose a unit right off the bat. That's the bad part. But other than, oh no. Okay, it didn't kill us. That's good. I'm gonna weaken the swordsmen. They're a little rougher to deal with. Pull him back. Defend. Defend. We're just gonna stall out three turns. We'll try to pull some allies over. Wow. Just gonna be the chariot holding this ground. That's why we need the pikeman upgrade. I'm trying to research it. And get floored. Wait, we got 50 and 51, yet we have health? What's our total health? Alright, we're just gonna have to hold here. Uh... Kill what we can. We can't pull back. It's nice to be able to only face one enemy at a time, but the problem is if we pull back, then we lose this and then we lose the battle. We just have to take three attacks. Oh, he can flank. Oh dear. He survived. We still can do some damage. Oh, he died. This is a loss. The pink are definitely hanging on. The fact that we're defenders really Charge! did us a disservice. Mm. If he attacks me, or if he attacks me, the battle will continue next turn. Let's see if I can designate a defender. I can pay to heal. That's probably what we're gonna do. And then we can join in the fight at the beginning of next turn. Seems like we got the holy side up. Hopefully that helps us a little bit. Um, this wonder should try to go up quickly. also will help our faith situation. The question is, which river are we trying to hold? It might actually do us a service. Like we can put it in a place where we can by ray placement really easily go into the future because we're having that issue right now. Can I buy this unit? 
can, but it's kind of far from the battlefield. We want this attached eventually. It's going to cost us a bit. 600-ish? Yep. That's got to wait. I want this right here. So that still has to be another food. Hmm. This is the debate. Like, this makes sense. This makes a lot of sense, actually. That So much that this doesn't even need to be a farming district. This doesn't need to be a farming district after that, either. I was originally thinking here. Just keep those as farm for food. But I was thinking maybe we don't need that. This is also quite strong. Alright, maybe we just give up this segment of the river for food. As we're doing right now. There's no natural yield of high industry here, but you see, you can get a lot even just from the river bonuses. Oh, that's a different, that's a different territory. Right, so the only river segments we gotta worry about is this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, right. And the capital itself, right here, is preserving these two. So that leaves these three that needs help, which means if I just put up a right here, it does most of the work for us. The only benefit here is we can transition to more maker on this side, especially this tile. That's going to be a preserve. Yeah, I don't need that. This is better. Build it right over that. And then get rid of this quarter after that. And put a forest down once we can plant trees. I really want to play a campaign in the future where we just preserve land features and don't ever like build over stuff. So for this city, we just want to preserve these four rivers here or this this territory. For this main territory, we just want to preserve these right here. All right, we talked about the triangle. I think we're just going to do the triangle. Right, give up that. That's fine. That's just not going to get picked up. Maybe a hamlet in the future. But we just pick up these triangle right here for adjacency. It's going to be great. Nunding. Probably should put another one down for Nunding. There's no river here, but we still want one because it picks up two different types of yield. And for adjacencies, that's really good for neighboring tiles. <laughs> There's absolutely no yield down here. Such a poor place. It's just really just going to be a science place. Like, we're going to put science here for geyser. Science, 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 science. Science, 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 science. Uh, is, this is all going to be research quarters. There's no river for it to be adjacent to. Here. There's, there's at least a, one adjacent river from the next territory. Okay, so we have to make her our way out here into this. Or do I want to pick up? Hmm. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same. It's it's either here into this or here into this. Which one gives us? This gives us the exact same amount of yield. I'll take this. In case we build a maker here. Alright, we're good. The war is not going smoothly. Sadly. We need better units. I can run these guys in there in time. Come on, 
Are taking forever. He did the attack. That battle is over. He got eight points. Well, I'm coming. He ran. See, how does he get to run so far? And when my army was retreating, I barely could get any distance. I'm, I'm quite mad about that. What? My scout team got picked off on too. I mean, I'm gonna retreat and lose five points. And now the Mongols. I warn you. Do not deceive me. They might be done next turn. Although I think they're increasing because of the retreat and the victory. I should just pull all my army back and let them bleed out. That would have been an easy victory for us. Now, now we gotta win some fight. Alright. Yeah, not much going on. Gotta just check out our units. No, they're moving fast. Okay, so he can't retreat now. Although, is he going to join in this fight? They're outside. They already moved, so they can't join. I can move closer. I can move closer. Right? The, the area is, is shown. They, they cannot join. This turn. If I wipe them out this turn. It should just be over. Ah, uh, hold on. I don't have to open it yet. I don't. Uh, man, I want a manual, but we can click out of it. Can I? Can I not? I guess I can't. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Why don't I get reinforcements? Oh, because I haven't finished deploying. Um. Yeah, this is fine. I don't get reinforcements. That is also fine. They're wounded from our last fight. We pay to heal. They have one more unit somewhere, but we have the edge of the high ground. So if they want to come flank this way, they could flank here and get a rear attack on this that might be the smartest thing they can do let's see if they do that but we can take this square we can force it down oh they're just defending now yeah because it's too weak all right we win this without any issues hopefully this will just end this war because i had enough of this war we got to build up and then march those elephants down thank you The snake They're done. approaches. They're done. Okay. Um, uh, capital, capital. We can finally build what we wanted. Right here. This massive project right here. The straight line of farming quarters just to reach this. To secure the most river possible. So that's been placed. Back over here and you do something similar. Get to this tile right here. Might be a Hamlet situation. Might be just a attach first situation. Yeah, I do want this. Okay. Ah, uh, this needs to have a massive maker quarter to here. Maker Mountain. It, it's not efficient because there's no adjacency, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. Um, yeah, that's good. War is over, right? Yes, war is over. We have 157 points. 
we don't have any of the land they have, so we can't ask them for it. Right, we have to be either adjacent or... Zihe, I kind of want. 2,000. Let me take a look. Zihe is not holding on any particular resources, so I don't really see a point there. Gothi Kandaza work. I'm I'm content with land holdings. Kinda want this right here. It's the only place I think I still want to claim. So I don't want any of the land. Right, we don't occupy it. Uruk. Right, sorry, the names, you know, don't exactly ring a bell. I'm guessing it's this city here. This is a city, yeah, right here. A lot of river, it's very nice, but like, there's no resources. We don't particularly gain much. It's an easy ramsack in a future war. I think we just take the cash. That's the only place we can get from them. Oh, but once that's bordered, we can take another one. Yeah, once that's bordered. So yeah, we take this and take this. This also, this has, oh, we take their only source of iron. Is that their only source of iron? I can't tell. It would cripple them. Without iron, they can't do much. But they're gonna... Yeah, I mean, even if they go to war with me and attack that right off the bat, I'm fine with that. Alright. Give me both of these. <laughs> now we have other options. Murfuck... And Montuno. More fox right here. Has their horse. Also is Costo. I cannot see the other one though. Probably down south. Take their horse. Horses are not that important going forward, but we will get the horse. <laughs> So we will take... I wish they would highlight it. They need a better mechanic in terms of showcasing where things are. That's the main city. I, I, I don't have the map, so I don't know exactly where things are. This picking off the horse for the Mongol faction might be... <laughs> might be what kills them. So we'll be taking that. And there's still 25 points for a little bit of cash. To or surrender. Simply. Simply magnificent. They still want to trade with us. With they don't have any strategic left. I accept your terms. I think we absolutely cripple them. That's right. They need to I buy it from other factions. They can deal. still get it. It's not like they're like shut out, but it's pretty good. Flat science. I'm not gonna buy anything from them for now. All right, let's see what we picked up. We don't have vision over it. It's not like we automatically get granted vision. But our territory is now stretched from coast. Two coasts on the continent. Uh, the the manifest destiny of our of our faction. We have completed that. We just have to claim this, which is his job. All right. And this army can pull back the high ground here. They can be returned. Oh, we rented it again. My bad. I can also heal them. I can't upgrade them. They can help me ramsack stuff. Uh, that was a waste of money. But okay, they can go explore for us because then in 20 turns, they're going to be gone. We can check out our new territory with them. All right, check out our new land. That's their job.
There we go. Okay, after we claim this, we might switch the claiming civic to the attachment civic to change the money. It will cost quite a bit, but we'll be okay. Sullen. Yeah. Okay, I feel like we crippled the Mongols. We stole their horses, stole their iron. What can they do against us now? Mm, we're still in the process of planning these out. I want this to go here. So we were doing the market reaching over. So I think we won't do this because these are probably science given these two geyser situations. So it's going to be like a research quarter here to lock down those tiles. And then we're probably going to build research on top of that. We'll get, I mean, we have to get rid of that. Um, oh, actually, no. It's going to be an exploitation down the line. It's weird. We're only getting one adjacent here, but I do want to buy in in every county. It, it, it's just that good. Plus one industry per population. That scales so well. So that's just going to happen for us. The Greek have transcended. Okay, we got our first research done. Harappans went from my yard. Mongol is now making demands. They want their horse back, being plundered. We can ignore it as long as they don't declare war on us. We are working on better units and bigger armies first. Right, that makes the most sense. City limit actually don't have to go because we got a free city limit for advancing the era. We have four now. We're under, like we're exactly where we should be. A new city and Natural defense on the city will be good. Extra food on all the tiles will be good. And then we're probably just going to get our unique unit right off the bat. We're still missing the copper to fill this unit, which is a bit awkward, but I think that'll be okay for now. We'll find it somehow. We'll buy it somehow. And then we get one. Who is two? Are they forcing us to get... I mean, I, I kind of need the... No. Plus five on. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, we'll get that too. That's fine. I, I think it's kind of a prerequisite situation. Two stars. Yeah, we're rapidly getting these pretty easily. We have four stars already. Military, we're one short. If we had to kill one more unit, if we had just fought better. Honestly, what I think will happen is we're going to row over them with our unique unit. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to finish off the pink faction pretty fast and take all their land. Expansionist should be pretty simple, but I don't really care for it. You see how the value is not going down? Because we're the first faction getting all these stars. We're picking up these stars without any decaying value. Um, Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. We have a battle. Skirmish, right? It's oh, they can still fight us, right? We don't win this. If I can. Hold on. Can I buy this group? He moved back. It's, it's a weak army on their side, to be honest. Yep. Now they won't want to mess with us. Cash is king. Cash is king. Okay, so we're still fighting each other. Alright, station here. Chang'an. Uh, we finished the triangle here. Look at their yields. It, I mean, it looks good, but I think it's actually a lot better than this because we're also getting production off of population. Oh, Alright, we're going to do this too. We're going to do this ordering. Um, it's going to kill off our science for a little bit, but I think this is probably... Mm. I prefer money. There are a lot of things you can do with money, as we have done, you know, buying mercenaries, healing. Science will get there. Mm. Alright, Chang'an. 700 for attach. I think we wait on that. 
I think we build this now. Oh, the capital should have this. The capital has a massive river system that could benefit massively from this. Um, okay, so I got to come here and take a look at the placement for this because we got this new attached region and we have more river tiles we could preserve with this. So this will be a great spot, right? We pick up one, two, three river. This will be okay. One, two, three as well. Oh, but this is in a different region. Then we can do both. These would be neighbors. All right, as long as we have that ruin, I can actually extend out first. So what we actually want to do before we clear the ruins is build here. We'll get rid of it eventually because I want the natural yield of the river. So that has to be done first and then to Barai down right here. Pretty much pick up this entire river system here. I don't need to pick up that one because that's next to the capital. Once I clear the ruins, it's going to be great. Alright, so we do have a bunch of influence. And those influence are going to be used to make sure we get all the luxuries that we can. That's it. One city still have no construction. Right, because they're done with all our emblematic. They can expand. That's always an option. Harbor. We could also build more harbor. No, not worth it. Um, research? Question mark? Food? Question mark? Maybe it's wonder time. Right, so the Barai here and here once this is for this region this is for this region we still haven't built the barai for the capital holding region which i want to build here that means this river at least from here and here these two are not going to be saved by any building unless we put a hamlet around here and it's kind of interesting because there's this yield right here with science and we can actually save the science yield by putting the wonder down because the wonder exploits all four. So I can actually put this here and it'll actually do quite a bit for us. But we can also build a natural preserve here. It's not a either war type of situation. Mm, there's also this river system here that we're not going to end up saving. That's a administrative center it's picking up a bunch of river so that's doing pretty good this has just wow look how neat the streets are in these farm sections um we could also end up doing something here it will save these three river tiles here and also pick up the mountain yield which is currently being lost because they're not being exploited by the science here but we're not combining that with that so it's also kind of limiting there's also this massive river system in Feng Hall that could use a bit of help. Hmm. I'm torn. I am torn. It's hard to pick up this river. Maybe this is the solution. We pick up three river tiles that could actually produce a good mix. We forgo one natural preservative. You know the fact that angler what next to a preservative, next to sage? I'm happy with that. Let's build it here. It's too late. I already played it down. Let's continue. Population loss in some of our district. The war is still continuing. We can't let up. We have some they're ramsacking us already. What's the point of peace then? Like, why why did I ask for this land if they can just ransack it? Hi. Sovereign, how can I help you? They have more war support than us because they are they're warring. They're a militaristic affinity. Can you? Just... <sighs> 
I mean, let's be real here. They're gonna take it, right? If I give it to them... I can give it to them. They have to use influence to reattach. Like, this is, this is the worst situation, right? They just take it for free, essentially. All right, appeasement. Appeasement it is. Peace is the greatest gift I can grant my people. You will pay or suffer. Ugh. False friend. Pay a thousand two hundred. This is not welcome. Give or well, they're taking it. They just want all their land back. I should have just gotten money. Um. We will meet your demands and trust that it buys us peace. Peace is the greatest gift I can grant my people. Only gold can set this right. 1,200. I mean, I'm just curious what appeasement would actually do. They got all their land back, right? We got to the border that we wanted. We, we want to sign a peace deal ultimately. We'll renounce. Oh. It's not worth worrying about. Hipster. All I hear is swine rooting in the dirt. All right, take it. We will meet your demands and trust that it buys us peace. This proposition should Refused. be in all our best interests. Now we can ask. Still not. Make a man At least support. we can push for a little we bit of war support no with the demand situation. You play a dangerous game. Like we can't take territories that we can't defend. That's the lesson learned. And if I want to claim this region right now, I can't do it with two mercenary units. That's for sure. I need to. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna claim it. It's just not happening. We'll join these two armies together real quick. Okay, for that. Have our mercenary come down, help us, and maybe kick them kick them out of our land. And then maybe we'll go ransack them. But I really just don't want to put the energy into fighting right now. I want to, I want to build up. There's so many things more beautiful than war. This is our ideal placement right there. So I'm still going to come out here and build this region first. Unless there's no point to save that. That doesn't do us any good. I can actually save two really good tiles and make her our way over here. See, they're, they're standing on the edge of high ground. They're smart. But we need to come out and try to reinforce these guys in case they get attacked. We did it. We finally reached here. But you see the science is gone there. But we'll most likely just build a research... No, actually, no. It's going to be a natural reserve. It's fine. Maybe a research. Just research surrounding this entire area sounds good, too. But that's going to preserve that one tile that we're working on right here to get both yields up. Is this a maker quarter? We should get rid of that, actually. River. Oh, there's so much stuff missing on this place. Oh, wow. Get these done. Where are copper resources on the map? because we do need a second copper and I don't see any we might just have to buy it I am listening all right done I don't want to talk to you Ugh, you repulse me be swift. He lost a lot of resources. Like we were trading dye with like 
Did they lose a war or something? Yeah, it's fine. They're fighting us. We got help. You can pick on us. Think again. We're gonna get attacked first of so these two units. Oh, they're mercenary units. They're gonna get wiped. It's okay. Help will be on the way. Yeah, this is okay. Ouch. Wait, are they going to complete wipeouts before we even get reinforcement onto the field? That might be a situation. If they do that, then we don't even get to use reinforcements. Depends on if they can take this. Wow. That wasn't hard. I mean, we cannot control the quality of mercenary units, so... Does, does the battle end, or can I put reinforcement down? I can't put reinforcement down. No, why do they get to do all the fighting? I need to... Like, I can't put my units in because they're... I mean, I gotta retreat. How do I beat this army with just four archers? Four archers and four spearmen, maybe? It's not very coordinated right now. This simultaneous turn stuff is running circles around me. All right, let me move first. Come on. There we go. Fine. Right. It's the same thing. Why can't they get in? Oh, because they retreated. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. As long as they're in. This is all spear. We can hold this. Edge of the high ground. I like this placement. I think it's good. We can't block this, which is a little bit of a shame. We'll get flanked. There's only one unit here. I might do this just to block this side, because who can come all the uh probably a cavalry, but I think that's fine. I think we win this fight. Finally. Another unit gonna go here. Can they loop all the way up? Okay, I've gotta retake this square. Remember, gotta see who owns this now. Gotta retake that. But that's an easy unit to kill. Okay. What? They can flank really hard. Zone of control. Doesn't work against cavalry unless we have the. Um, Ghanian unit that blocks the control. All right, finally our turn. Finally our turn. Move here. The spearman can do that. We'll take this fight. Let me kill you first. We gotta retake that, but we have two turns to do that, so we're gonna wait. This has the flank, he already did the attack. Do the damage here. I'm killing myself here if I fight them. Let me just retake it. We'll leave an open spot, which isn't that great, but they can't flank us with two units like this. So we'll just give them the high ground up. It's okay, we'll take more damage, but... 
Ah, they get to kill one more unit. Mercenary unit, though, so I won't sweat it. And we'll try to leave all the veterancy on our own units, in particular the cavalry units. We'll create flanks for both of them. Finally won a battle, my gosh. Military star number two has been earned, and we probably can get a few more at this pace. Because the pink faction is very annoying. Come back. You're retreating, but you can come back and work with us. They're just super terrain dependent for the archers. Alright, we got to where we want. 400 something. Population's huge here. Ooh, new faction. Inch. Mayan, from hello, my hello. And Open from myself, borders, not... Wait, wait, wait. Greetings. Why so many pre-existing trade world. deals? But no... Why can't I... You oh. Have... They're vassal of another faction, therefore we already had a deal with the previous faction of open borders, so... That's why they're open borders. Makes sense. We want to claim this region. We will move together in unison to claim this region, and we'll go burn down their region, because why not? Give me your gold. You endanger everything. Demand. There is a penalty to be paid. Demand. Such transgression. Demand. I'm not in the business of making threats. However, in this case... For our sanity, let's forget our bickering. So we can... <laughs> he wants to just withdraw both sides. I mean, that's kind of what I want. Just yes, stop fighting me. Dispute the benefit in that. Uh, I can't propose anything. Oh, well, we can't trade. We can we trade? Blessed. But somehow I can. Kind of weird. All right, we claim this one and it, it's done. War, war is over. It's time for peace and development. Boom. Pick up those river yield right there. Pick up these mountain yields solid. Yeah, and all these. And this little fortress. I really love this city. Like, there's only one way up. So at least before the weapons become like artilleries, this is quite an easily defensible city. Now the question is, how do we get our very, very nice Barai into other regions? Um, it might have to be a food effort to secure this tile. As we pick up one, two, three. It's not that many rivers. This is better. This region's a lot more potential. Maybe we finish this first and see how tiles look. And then determine how we want to place things. Enemies of the Empire. <laughs> Are we really a warring state? Anti-imperialist versus imperialist. Oh, we're winning a battle on relations. Mm, no, it's not something we want to consider right now. We do have massive amount of influence, enough to claim another wonder. So if there is still an unclaimed wonder, there is not. But if we can reach the next era, there are some really good wonders in the next era. So we definitely want to think about that. We can absorb them any time. But right now, I don't see a real benefit to absorbing them. Pretty happy that they exist as an independent. Like I can get their armies anytime. I could start attaching more regions, especially ones with river. Ah, speaking of river. Haven't decided who should get it. Nanjing should definitely get a few more of these. Maybe Nanjing should get this. Yeah, just just keep it sciency. So Nanjing is complete. Let's get all the infrastructure built and then we'll see how we want to deal with these. Chang'an would love to pick up this, probably in the next few turns. And then we're going to think about a new city. 
Um, I'm delaying it a bit, which I know is not the greatest move, but we're kind of waiting on science, actually. Did, did they just demand us again? Or suffer. This is clear. You are poisoned. Like, what's the point of that agreement if they're just going to demand it again? There's just no way to make you wanna this fight. work. want to fight. Let's fight. I do not accept. All right, we're here to claim this region is ours. The three kingdoms have collided. <laughs> They're doing some war with them too. All right, let's finish developing our base and start expanding a fifth city and then plan a war to wipe them out. Just hold here for now. It's a garrison. Problem with this region is we're on the low ground. So both of these probably just stay on duty. Still have not figured out how we can get this, but let's just finish this. We want our wonder up. It's a lot of food. See, they're coming. Right now we can beat them, because they're relying on scout riders. Once they upgrade to their unit, their special unit, it's going to be very hard for us to beat them. They get nice high ground to fight us, but I don't think it's that bad. They're going to run. Unless they have a huge army behind. Yep, yeah, they ran. See, the AI is making them run to... Like, this is a great pathing, right? Run up to higher ground. I'm gonna stop complaining about the AI being smart, but... Now I feel like I can push these up. I'm building quite a few garrisons here. I mean, I don't think I'm launching an attack on the entire city. I feel like we can push up a little. If I can catch them next turn, that'd be great. Really want to burn this down. You have seven? Oh, we almost have seven. Five more district, and then I think we can just move on. The question is, what are we trying to move on to? Nothing got picked, right? We are first. Right, we're first. Um, Joseon Korean for a lot of science. And the new research quarter. Is it good though? Plus two influence, science, science per adjacent. Not very scaling. I don't really want the turtle ship either. Food on exploitation. Eh. Like plus one, it's at this point. Plus five food per number attached territory. So that's one of this. So this is like the wording that you want, right? Per attached territory, we talked about this because you get to build one in each of those territories. So it's like five X squared, which is pretty cool. And all the other bonuses. So that's not bad. A nice gunner unit that's apparently stealth. I don't know if stealth is really necessary. Not going port. Edo Japanese. Plus one influence per population. Plus two influence, plus five influence per adjacent mountains. The samurai is actually pretty good. But not being able to retreat is pretty bad. Not allied territory. So we're stronger by fighting an invasion war. Conquistadors. El Dorado generates additional money for winning battles in Ramsack. Ooh, that's pretty cool. The cathedral, Gothic cathedral, cathedral Gothica, 
can't speak Spanish, but I think that's how it goes. Plus one faith per population. That is strong. If we want to end up locking in the faith, plus the fact that we have the angler Watt, the Spanish might be a solution here. No, I'm not going to consider that. Sorry, Poles. Um, the, the building is just not really something we want per district. So every faith, every district has a faith. Oh well, no, it's going to generate one faith per district on this tile. It's not bad. Heavy weapon cost cheaper. Eh. Plus 2% industry per number of territories in your sphere of influence on capital. So giant capitals would be great for this, but we don't have giant capitals. Ming. I think the real strength of Ming is just this. The civic costs 25%. It's massive. They patched it. It used to be you can get it below 100% with the Ming. And then you get paid every time you change a civic. So you can generate infinite number of influences, but that's no longer the case. So I don't think we're going to go with a mean. We, we did a mean run. The tea house isn't that great, in my opinion. You get maximum, you get a lot of influence, sure. But I don't think that's the play style we want. I'm actually pretty interested in the Spanish. The combat bonuses work pretty well for us. Conquistadors getting money on fighting. Seems pretty good. Gunners are very strong. Once we get to this unit, it pretty much will be the dominant unit we use to run over people. Generating faith with the Ankler Watt that we have makes a lot of sense. Pretty much every population will give us a faith, and then every faith will give us a food, right? That's the synergy. And then you can build multiple one of these per region. So each region can give us x amount of faith per the population of the city so if x is the number of territories in a city and the population of the city is y then it's x times y equal the faith we will generate from the cathedral once we build one in every single region and the adjacency is just per adjacent territory it can be any territory so we can build this on like frozen tundra surrounded with research surrounded with garrisons it doesn't really matter and that's up to 18 more. So 18 times X again. So it's X times Y, where X is the number of territory, Y is the number of population, plus 18X per territory. If that makes any sense, right? 18X is per territory. It's pretty good. I think this is good. I think we're going Spanish. We have not tried them yet, so. This will be an interesting playstyle with the faith because we got Ankler Wall. We can try something different. Um, right, we can catch them. So their deployment zone is not into the garrison. We get attacked first, so we can step into their fort. They're on their own land. We want to fight another war. <laughs> right, it's a border situation. What do you want? We have great war support. Just, I'd rather have peace. So basically, when, once you're in your city territory, you're safe. But if you're not in your city territory, it's war. <laughs> That's great. Well, don't mind us as we're going to burn down your areas here. Is he going to let me burn down that, though? That's the question. Still can't visually see it. Ah, there's a unit here. We can pick on this unit here. He's not on one of their territories. He's going to run. That's fine. Every retreat is going to give us a little bit of... Oh, yeah, that's right. Five points of war support. And ramsack. Yeah, we can't do it. I'm gonna ramsack right here. If we can't take a bite out of the city, we'll take a bite out of their territories. 
Angkor Wat has been built. All right, the yield. Look at the river yield. Right, our river naturally right now is seven five with forest. Oh, we're so close to faith. Are they responding over here? They're not. Okay. Then we're gonna take over the job here. Let's get him! Burn it down. Burn it all down. I'm gonna put in some builds. We got new land to play around with. Wait. How come we can build here? Oh, because that city center's art is not being rendered. Interesting. This is probably the plan. We are ruining this marshland, but it's fine. The yield on the marshland is the yield that we get to preserve anyway, so this is good. Pick up these three tiles that we otherwise wouldn't. Over here is a little bit different. Because the ones we want to preserve will cause a chain effect on the science tile that we are going to grab. See, the science disappears once we do this. I'm not so happy about it. And if you look at the natural yield on these, it's just food for these three. I don't know if it's worth grabbing, in a sense. Mm. I might build it here. We save these, don't affect that. But for us to reach here, we need to build something. I don't want to build anything here. I don't want to build anything here. I want to... <laughs> How do we do that? We can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. I have to build on these. I can build and then get rid of. That's the only way I'm thinking of. Like, farm, and then get rid of it afterward. Alright, we gotta face the music here too, because we need to put something down over there. Why is there no yield here? It's just not shown. It's 7 and 5, we see it right here. 7 from food, 6 from exploitation, just not being graphically produced right now. Oh, unless it's because of this farmer quarter. No, but that's next to the capital. It should be displayed. But it's not getting displayed, which is a bit odd. Um, so we mentioned this would be the, the tile, I think, right here. I want to see all the yields. This will be the tile right here. So for us to get there, we have to... Why can't I do that? Because the ruin's gone, so I can't extend because this isn't connected to the main. That's bad. Uh, the ruin was serving a purpose. Mm. Yeah, not cool. Yeah, so I have to build this first. Alright, so that got finished. Now we gotta worry about this river system here. So these are saved. These three tiles are being exploited. Beautiful. This one's being exploited. It's just these three right here. And we cannot get all three, but this would be the ideal tile to get. Right? You'll pick up everything around it beautifully. And we'll save both river systems. Unless we want to focus on the southern part. Which has the potential right here. To pick up this, 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 four tiles. And for us to get there, we're gonna have to build out this way. Yeah. Chang'an, can I expand? Should we get it done now? I can save up to 1,800 and build the city. That might be the better play, actually. Um... 
This is definitely not going to be a farm, because I think I want the mountain yield. We might just change this entire region to Maker right here. And there's no river here, it's not any benefits. Let's build that. We do have two copper now. Units can be upgraded. That's actually not what I want. I want this. I think this will all be Maker, actually. This entire region. All of this. Why is this giving us... My question is, why is it giving us six? Is this just passively six? Because I have Silk? That's the case, we might not, because Prairie, that just means all of these are six. See, this is different. It was four. Okay, it is it is six point passively. Hmm. Want the mountains. Okay, we're going to start building a pretty massive structure of makers. Metal Japanese. Heavy infantry researched. Now going back to rhetoric. Uh, rhetoric. And then feudalism first, I think. We don't need city cap yet. And then this. And then city cap. How's our ramsack doing? Good. Not getting bothered. All right, I think this is going to be our end point. Went a little long, um, but I think we are quote unquote at peace with the pink faction. They don't have a lot of attached territories because we, so I guess the only benefit we got is we broke them up. Instead of big cities, now they have territories. They have to spend a lot of influence to get them back attached. Um, and they're, I don't know if they're actually fighting the blue, are they? Do not no, waste. No, they're not. But uh, they don't like us, we don't like them. We're gonna build a new city. We'll pick a capital from these regions here. I wanna attach down this way. We wanna be always one over the cap, try to be efficient with the number of cities we have. It's not gonna get the free infrastructure, I don't think. Did we get that tech? We might have. No. 10 turns? That's a long wait. Maybe we get attached first. Yeah, we'll, de we'll debate that next time. But um, we're going to end the episode here and see you guys next time. Bye.